Hey everybody, coming to you from my shop. I wanted to talk a little bit about um, charts. Uh, charts for um, crypto are kind of hard, kind of hard. It's not as exactly like stock charts, but a chart is really human emotion is what you're looking at. So. So you're looking at human human reaction. You're looking at greed. You're looking at profit taking. That's why it can be somewhat um, predictable. Um, but I want to say we got some things coming up here that charts aren't going to be able to to tell us about. Uh, a chart is not going to be able to tell us about November the twentieth, nineteenth, twentieth, depending on Europe, USA. A lot of people were talking in the comments because I think the 19th is weekend. <laughs> so let's say November the 20th. There's a lot of banks that are ISO, the 200, you know, the, the, uh, the, the, the IMF got ready, right? Now the, the banks are getting ready. So the banks, there's a lot of them gonna turn the switch on in my earlier video today. They're gonna, they're gonna start. Now I believe they're gonna start also using it to transfer funds. Um, because the coin is one and the same, the movement of the coin and the message system. But I don't know everything and haven't seen any details. They're talking about the message system. Uh, you know, so you kind of have to read into it a little bit. But I did want to talk about that. The charts can't know about that. There's a lot of movement on XRP that the charts aren't going to know anything about. Um, uh, just like with XRP, most people measure crypto coin by what's moving inside the crypto coin space, you know, the, the money that's in there. And then some outside money comes in and bull markets, or I say outside money, but you know, that, that money increases in the bull markets. And so, so the charts can, uh, can tell us some stories there. And then, you know, then we can talk about breakouts and things like that. But there's so many things with XRP that's not going to be in the charts. It's not going to be in the charts when uh, several banks uh, flip the switch or when uh, a whole CBDC currency is, you know, completely turned on and suddenly an entire country's money is, is all within the XRP um, uh, ledger, you know, exchanging hands in there. So, um, so I just wanted to mention that. Not everything can be done with charts. So some of that, we got to hit some hopium and go, man, I hope they get some of this stuff cranked on, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, price predictions, we can't give um, financial advice, right? But man, I'm, I'm thinking that we're going to be sneaking up to, uh, of course, we're right here, right at 55 cents, but um, I'm thinking we're going to go through 55 cents in the next couple of weeks and, and think about this you know if it went up eight cents from where it's at that would be uh about a 15 percent increase man some banks if a bank was paying 15 percent people will wait a whole year to make that much we're talking about making it you know just in a little bit maybe a portion of your coin could, this isn't advice, but maybe a portion of your coin could be for trading in and out. Maybe. I like to use um, three commas. Three commas has bots that trade for me. So they sell it, they buy it, they trade it. And uh, I've made about 12% just with some, and on all kinds of coin. You know, I just... I go with all kinds of coin, not just XRP, on, on trading it because the bull market's coming uh, and it looks like it's already starting. If so, hey, you know, put, if you have some money, if you don't, man, do a yard sale. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, man, if you don't have some money, just try to, try to raise a few hundred dollars. Try to, get, try to get some money. Now you can do a three commas account and they have videos to help show you how to do things. So, um, hey, throw some money in there. Try to try to let it make some money. Then, you know, you could buy some XRP as uh, in the volatility, you know, sell it 
if you want. Some people don't want to trade it because they don't want to take the risk. Well, it depends on if you allocate some towards that. It's okay if you allocate toward, some towards that because the huge moves we're all waiting on, right? How you like those Les Pauls in the background? That's a few R9s, by the way. That's an R8 right there, that gold one. Isn't that fun? I love guitars. <laughs> I'm guitarded. So, hey, you guys have a good day. Just wanted to drop a line about that.